Um, we'll talk a little bit, I mean, where the Rock the Dock started and, and how this all did it. So when you think about when things go wrong in a community and there's a tragedy, we lose a fisherman, we lose someone we love, and when that happens, there's a hole that's torn in the fabric of the community. And what we end up having to do is figure out how to reweave those threads and bring those threads back together to re redo that fabric of community. Today, we're honoring and celebrating the life of a nine-year-old boy. A nine-year-old boy who faced a tragedy with his family on this dock. And in the middle of that, there was lots of people that helped. There's lots of people that here that helped. We had people from the St. George Ambulance. In addition to running Life Light, I'm a paramedic on St. George and I was the second paramedic down here to take care of the family. We had South Thomason Fire and Rescue, St. George Fire and Rescue. We had Thomason's Ambulance, we had Rockland's Ambulance, we had two Life Flight helicopters. And in the space of an instant, things change. And it does tear a hole in our community. And the Barstow family, who really were going to celebrate something completely different tonight. We're all here. It was their kids that watched this. And they said, you know, we have to do something different. And Amy and I reached out to Allison Gold, who was one of the people who was injured on the dock. And she said, no, what we really need to do is to celebrate Dylan's life. We had actually flown Dylan on Life Flight one other time when he was five years old. He was in an accident on the Mohegan. And, uh, you know, came through that. He was a special little kid um, for doing that. So today, this is about putting our arms around each other. Remembering what it is about this community that Jim just talked about. What a great community this is to live in. And when you think of when things go wrong, you know, we, it's... The ambulance, the promise of 911 is such an incredible promise to society. You know, it's simple but profound. If you call us, we will come. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. People leave their homes, they leave their bed, they get up from the dinner table, and they jump on the volunteer ambulance here. And they've done it this next year for 60 years. 60 years that St. George Volunteer Ambulance has been here. And in those years when things go really wrong and we actually need a hospital to come to the town, that's when we bring in Life Flight. Life Flight's literally a hospital in itself coming to a community to restore that homeostasis you know, for doing things. And we ended up flying really the entire family that day. So we're here to celebrate the life of a nine-year-old boy who's no longer with us. We're here to remember and we're here to honor. Memory is an active thing. When we don't remember, and why it's so important to do this, and remember the fishermen, remember all those holes, that if we don't remember, and sometimes it's really hard to just come down here and remember, and there's a lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people who are here that day, and they're like, they're in tears, they remember, and it's really hard. But if we don't do that, then we really lose those people. We lose those threads of our community into the endless sands of time. So memory has to be active. We actually have to come together, and sometimes when it's hard, we have to remember things, because that's what, that's what brings us together as a community. So to honor Dylan, uh, Dylan I'd like to bring up Randy Thistle, um, one of our, our local pastors here, and then we're going to have Candy Davis come up, and we're going to kind of finish it off the Bill Hickey, and then the traditional blessing of the feet. Never, ever let memories go. Andy. Hello. Thank you. I want to make sure that everybody can hear me at the back and that everyone's uh, paying attention because we'd really like to have everybody... We'd really like to have everybody uh, being able to participate in a moment of silence. 
It's already been mentioned, though, that we have a lot to celebrate. The moment of silence is something that is somber. It's a sober moment, and it's serious. But there is much to celebrate, and much that we have to be thankful for, and I don't want us to lose uh, sight of that. I should maybe have introduced myself, Randall Thistle. I'm a minister at the Port Clyde AC Church right over the hill here. And we've come to know God as loving, as merciful, and gracious. And during this moment of silence, I would ask on all of you to participate silently with me in calling on God to communicate His love, His mercy, and His grace to all of those that were affected by this tragedy. But I don't want anyone to be overcome with grief. We do have a lot to celebrate. That Josh Kagashell is on the mend. That Allison was spared. That Wyatt was spared. And largely because of folks in this community that we've just heard from and from God who was gracious to respond to people's prayers as they lifted up this family as soon as they heard what was going on. So we also have a lot to thank God for too. But in following Allison and the family's wishes that we celebrate uh, Dylan and remember him today. Please bow your heads with me in a moment of